happening today is Sunday. It is half past two, guys. Late na ako nagising kasi I've been working since Friday. And Jordan just there. He's watching um, Dead to Me na series from Netflix. So we are very depressing. I don't know why he's watching it. Kasi it's about killing the husbands. Jordan. <laughs> Tapos na yung mga bintana kasi guys, sunny today, sunny day kasi sa mga previous vlogs, grabe guys, ulan, ulan, and again, this week, ulan na naman, so kailangan natin yung lighting dito sa bahay. So, kailangan ko to laban yung mga uniform kasi I'm working this way, eto, tatlo, yan eto, sa so, may sig, i-hand wash ko lang din, i-hand ko dun sa labas. Wow, it's sunny. Kasi guys, grabe yung ulan, diba, sa mga vlogs ko. For, for like, siguro, two weeks. And again, ulan naman this week. Ulan, ulan, non-stop. Babad ko lang to. Sa palabas kami ng duck. Ito, oh. Yan yung whole duck. Yan, we bought this from Coles. Jordan, would you buy it? From Coles? Oh, How price? How price? How much? Ito, oh. Seven dollars? Barato lang guys. Ano, magluto kami ng roast duck. So, meron tayong whole duck. Lemongrass, garlic, Chinese fog, spice, ABC, na sweet soy sauce, and pepper. Got, got one piece of lemongrass with coals, and it was $2.50. They went to my favorite fruit and vegetable shop. Three of these for the same price. So, shows the shop around. So, coals, $2 in Isa. This one shop, $2. The same price. So, coals, $1. It's a supermarket at low. Luto tayo ng duck. Guys, meron akong katulong. Kasi day off namin yung Mr. Sunday. Well, day off niya. Hindi ko day off. So, he's gonna help me today. Cook roast duck. So, roast duck. One of so your favorite dish now. Anne's, Anne's favorite food changes week to week. The your favorite food. <laughs> Sometimes you like sushi. Sometimes roast duck. Roast duck is very close to her heart. When we met 10 years ago, so it's a long time. Long time ago. And we went to, there's a place called the Adelaide Central Market. It's a, it's a street with all Asian restaurants. Um, it's on Goodger Street if you ever come to Adelaide. And we thought we would try duck. We love, we love Asian food. It's, oh. it's cheap, it's convenient. There's so many choices, and we were lucky to have the Central Market in Adelaide. It's got it like big. Now, can we get our stuff that inside of the duck? Mm, bigger? Yeah. So, we never cooked this before in roast duck. So, it'll be our first time. We're just gonna put stuff inside of the duck. Last time I cooked patutin. Guys, I'm gonna put the link in my description box. Uh, patutin, some is the uh, provincia. Mm, guys, the best. Patutina duck. Pero this time we're gonna try cook um, roast duck. So mm, that smells good, babe. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put in the Chinese five spice. It's got five spice. I'm not sure all the spices, but it's a very popular. Oh, it's got cinnamon. We're gonna put some of that inside the duck, and then we're going to put the lemongrass, the garlic. The um, onion, I think the way it works, when you cook it, you hope that the flavors come out from the middle and just flavor the duck. So this is an exercise you really have to get your hands dirty. It's uh, full now, so nothing else we can stick in there. But it's overflowing with lemongrass. You can smell the flavors from here. And we're quite lucky in Australia, it's easy access to duck. A lot of Asian restaurants as well. This is Anne's recipe, combination of everything. That's what we try and do when we cook. Just use the ingredients we have. And once you start cooking, you learn to adjust recipes and you don't have to stick to exactly the way to cook it. So putting some salt on. Oh, we're just hoping it's gonna be crispy duck. Like my roast duck, I mean my roast pork. I think one of the hardest things is when you're making crispy yeah. anything to not burn the skin. So you have to regularly check. Especially with duck, there's a lot of fat. Yeah. Oh, for you, Jordan. Right. This is our roasting tray and we're going to add some water because then it keeps the, the meat moist and we've got roasting tray in the middle as well to raise the, the duck so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And this is a really big duck, it barely fits. 
And we're preheating the oven as well, 190 degrees, and we'll cook it for about an hour and 45 minutes. The duck's ready to go into the oven, just waiting for it to preheat. So in a few minutes, we'll be ready to go. We're gonna cover it with foil. Uh-oh. So we cover it in foil so it doesn't burn on the outside, and then... This will also keep it moist as well. And what you can do to crisp the uh, chicken or whatever you're cooking in the duck, you can take off the, the foil after and then turn the oven up to, you know, maximum heat. So then it, it crisps the outside. So we took the top tray out because the top of the oven is just too hot. But while we find in the medium, the middle of the oven, it just cooks at the right temperature. Sorry. And turn it to 190. Mm. And it's doing a washing, got to work stuff there. And the lawn is getting pretty messy, so I'm going to mow the lawn today. Not the most exciting thing mowing the lawn, but something that needs to be done. <laughs> the lawn's been growing well. Not two years. And I'm gonna have full cream milk. I'm just gonna put it in the microwave and I'm gonna add cinnamon. si Joran magmo ng lawn. So now, yung mga grass, eto, lagay namin sa my rubbish bin na green. And I think it's grapefruit in the middle. Are they ready? The tree just grows and we don't even water it. I'm going to mandarins here. I know they're not ready. They're sour, but guys, am going to add some soy sauce. Do you more than these? More of these? No. no. So no. I want to make uh, shakes and then freeze them so I have them for the whole week. See, look at this. What? Remember what that was? The candle. <laughs> So this was the candle jar and I, I read that you can reuse the candle jar so I've washed it, got the wax out, so I'm going to use this for my for my shakes and then I can freeze it. Freeze it? Yeah, so I can make them all on like Sunday and then have like five for Monday oh, to yeah. Friday. And then guys got soy sauce, soy sauce and mandarin. Mm. This one's a sweet babe. Said it's sour. No, these ones, yeah. The first one. The first one I think is sour, but the second one is sweeter. I still don't understand why you put salt on something that's sour. Yeah, weird. I think Everything it's in the Philippines. I think it's personal taste. If something was sour, wouldn't you put sugar in it? No, oh, hey, salt loser. But sugar makes it sweet. Nah, salt and toyo and bagoong. Amoy duck yung bahay natin. So, bilaksan ko lahat yung mga bintana at yung mga pertahan o pintuan. Kasi yung bahay natin, guys, amoy yung fat ng duck. Sabi niya dyan another half an hour daw. Kasi, ano, meron pa. Check ko pag golden brown, then pwede na. So, check natin. Okay. Another half an hour. As you can see, the these are the this is the oil coming out of the duck, the natural oils and the fat. The duck is nearly cooked, so what we're gonna do, just gonna coat it with some of the sauce again. And we're gonna we took the foil off because we want the, the outside of the duck to get crispy, then we'll put it back in the oven for maybe 20-30 minutes and we'll put the heat up as well. That's good. We're putting some more sauce on it 
And I think in chef's language they call it basting. Basting? Basting. So it gives it more flavor if you regularly coat whatever you're cooking. If you want it golden brown, then you can add some soy sauce, but I'm adding sweet soy sauce. But you have to be careful if you're adding sugar. Yeah. Sugar burns right. very quickly, so you have to check it. We flipped it over now, we're going to have crisp this side, so probably 15 minutes or so. More ketchup menace. Gives it a sweet, salty flavor. And then 15 minutes in the oven. And put it in the middle or low down because the, the heat comes from the top. So you don't want to burn it. Taste test. It's your piece. It's juicy. So this is the um, sweet and what is this one? Sweet. Also chili sauce. Next time I should make the um, plum sauce, babe. Look at this color, like. Guys, it's not even done. Oh, the tuna, guys, juicy. Should I use skin? How about crispy? Yeah, it's not even done. Oh, yeah, it's not even done. Oh, it's not even done. Oh, it's not even done. Oh, it's not So the foil made it really juicy, you can see the see the sauces. Then we remove the foil so it's slightly crispy. And we're gonna cut through through the middle, show you the inside. And you might need a sharp knife. And see inside. There's the lemongrass, the onion, garlic, and you can really smell the flavors. So we're going to try a piece of meat near the center. See if we can taste the lemongrass. Bit of sweetness from the juice. You can more smell the lemongrass and, and taste it, but it's very juicy. Mm. It's juicy, yeah. It's really good with the sweet chili sauce. And plum sauce. Well, be good with plum sauce, but then you gotta make it and couldn't be bothered today. Maybe next time we'll either buy some or we'll try and make it. Guys, got on the Oh. Mm. Well done, you did good. So guys, teamwork. Shut up. Roast up. Mm. Anne's asleep now, she's working tonight. And this is going to be my piece here on the right. And Anne's on the left. And of course when you cook, you've got the dirty dishes. So gonna let this one soak. So got some boiling water here. So I've got the boiling water in here, then I just get some dishwashing liquid. So this one is just shine antibacterial lemon. And then I would just let it sit for probably a day or two. Then scrub off the the remains otherwise it's just too difficult to get off now it's also sunday so it's bin day so taking out the rubbish it's the red and green bin tonight so lucky i mowed the lawn so the grass clippings are in here. So it's dinner time and this one is Anne's and her coffee and mine. We're eating like a caveman today. 
It looks like a lot, but there's there's not actually that much meat. Good. Well done. Guys, I'm getting ready for work. What's up with uniform? So I'm just gonna blow dry it alone. Because it's not going to be a So I'm going to blow dry it alone. It's a lot of duck. It's a lot of duck. The whole duck. It's a lot of duck. It's a lot of guys. It's a lot of Very juicy. It's not dry. But the skin is crispy. But it's a lot of duck. So maybe next time, we'll cook it again. Because it's a lot of duck. 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 It's a lot of and I'm gonna make the um the plum sauce. Hindi kami nag rice tonight. Ano lang yung duck lang talaga guys kasi medyo fattening yung duck. Sorry po. Next time tayo mag rice. So sometimes ito yung Sunday namin ni Mr. Kasi every second Sunday I'm working. Pag off ko and we go to the church. Pag my work, I sleep. And then if I wake during the day, then I'll vlog, I'll clean the house, I'll cook. So I'm just gonna wash my face. Too big lang, sometimes wash, and yun nagamit ko. I'm just gonna wash my face with water. Yun lang, tap lang. And then moisturizer. Na simple yung ginagamit ko, as always. Ito it, love this. Yung simple na moisturizer. So mostly sa mga vlogs, walang foundation. Kasi winter na malamig na. And if it's summer, I don't wear foundation because it's oily. It depends. It depends on the mood. If I feel like putting makeup on, I'll put makeup on. But lately, I don't have any foundation. Because I'm using the Bill Kaiba. I'm using the Bill Kaiba. So... I'm using the Bill Kaiba lips because I get very dry lips. And brush my teeth, guys. I'm gonna be late, but I'll ring my work. Nah, I'm gonna be late for five minutes at least. Let's say, when I drive, guys, the hat, red light. Wanna stop? Red light, red light. This is my work look. So thank you so much for watching. I don't know when I'm gonna vlog next. Maybe next week when I'm off. So I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Thank you for watching and thank you for the comments. Thank you guys. Bye bye.